long ago it used to be that eye care was uh, maybe a pair of glasses and that was about it. Then we got uh, contact lenses and surgery and all kinds of great things that the ophthalmologist can do to improve everybody's vision. Well, one of those uh, ophthalmologists with us today, a gentleman with an extensive practice, not only here in Orange County, but throughout Southern California, Dr. Dwayne Logan joins us today. Doctor, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Good to have you with us. Your background, uh, you went to school here locally, uh, UCLA and UCLA, at USC and UCLA, right. which makes conflicting at basketball and football season for you, I would imagine. Always a Trojan. All right, very good. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. And uh, you've got, I believe, 10 offices around Southern California. Absolutely. We extend from San Pedro in the South Bay area all the way out here to the uh, South County. The wow. Laguna Hills area. Must be thousands and thousands of patients then with all those clinics available. Luckily, I only see patients in three locations, um, Long Beach and here in uh, Laguna right. Hills and Huntington Beach. Which means you have a great staff of other ophthalmologists Absolutely. and, and other folks. Absolutely. We have an outstanding cast of doctors and technicians and this overall administration and technicians. Well, you know, so much has changed about eye care, as I mentioned. It used to be they'd fit you with glasses and they would get progressively stronger as we got progressively older. Then in a little after World War II, I guess it was, some bright person discovered that uh, it was possible to replace that cloudy lens inside the eye. It used to be they'd just take it out, I guess. Absolutely. They would take out the cataract and give you a nice pair of what we call Coke bottle glasses. And um, since that time, there's been an evolution of different types of implants. Um, we've gone from putting in implants that, uh, where you would be fitted for glasses, mm -hmm. um, and we've uh, gone to the point now where we're able to take that cataract out, the lens that you see here. Sure. And, uh, and you know, the, the interesting thing is this lens, or what we call the cataract, causes a lot of, a lot of light scatter and thereby blur vision. Uh, with the new implants that we have now, which looks very similar to this, yeah. we're able to get a very clear vision and go without glasses. As, as looking at that and seeing the little rings on it there, it reminds us of what we in television or in, in photography would call, why don't you let me hold that for the camera, doctor? A Fresnel lens, if you can see all these little rings on here, that's what we would describe as the a Fresnel lens for studio lighting purposes. Um, and that allows, it, uh, that allows that light to be focused. Uh, my understanding is this allows your eye to focus like it did when you were 20. Absolutely. That's what we call a multifocal lens. It's, it has multifocality. It, it allows you to see both at distance and near without mm -hmm. dependence upon glasses. Okay. And I understand there's uh, three or four different manufacturers. I think one right here in Orange County. Absolutely. There's the, the manufacturer of that lens is uh, called AMO. Um, they make what's called the Technus multifocal lens. A great lens. It's really the lens of my choice. Mm -hmm. There's other uh, implants also. There's a lot of patients will be familiar with what's called the Restore lens. It's also a, a multi-focal uh, lens mm -hmm. that um, works very similarly to that I guess implant. when one person makes the breakthrough, others follow along and others have gotten involved and tried to improve on that original design. We see on the screen um, kind of what the person has going on there. On the right side, it looks just a little bit out of focus. And that's how someone with a cataract may be, in this case, looking at their grandkids, I guess. But uh, on the left-hand side, when you restore that normal vision, um, that's what we get, sharp and clear. And that scattering, we can see on the right picture in the lower shot, the scattering of the light that you talked about. Absolutely. And one thing you should focus on is if you look at this cataract right here, you see some, somewhat of a yellow lens. And if you look on this uh, over here where it's nice and clear, one, yeah. um, where the image is clear, you see a, a, a clear lens. Yeah. And that's pretty much what we're doing. We're removing this yellow hazy lens and placing a clear implant such as what you had in right. your hand in the now, other eye. Now, the reality is uh, this is a little more money involved. This is a little more expensive to get the focusable lens, correct? Absolutely. And I think it's important for patients to know that um, all patients have the choice of putting in what we call a monofocal lens, which is very similar to this here. You don't see the rings on the lens. With this lens, you definitely are dependent upon glasses, particularly for reading at near. Mm -hmm. With the other lens that we looked at, where you talked about the, the Fresnel appearance of the lens, um, those lenses are designed to make you less dependent on glasses. Oftentimes, 90 plus percent of patients never have to wear glasses, right. but they do have to pay an extra fee for those mm -hmm. implants. Not for the surgery, but for the lens. I say most insurances uh, do cover the surgery part of it and, and a so-called fixed lens. Absolutely. If you choose what we call a monofocal lens, all right, which allows you to see at distance but not at near, yeah. um, that is covered by your insurance. 
Just about 100%. Right. Um, the other lens is, as, as we said, there is a, a, an added uh, right. fee for that. My understanding also is uh, the procedure is still done usually as an outpatient. Rather, yes. than, rather than have to be admitted in the hospital, which not used to, used to be the case. You were in the hospital for a long time, I guess. Yeah, I've had patients explain to me that they had bags, uh, sandbags put on their eyes uh, prior to surgery, and then after the surgery they were kept overnight, and that kind of put, tells you how old I am. Um, <laughs> now we bring patients in, we use topical drops, we give them a little anesthetic inside the eye. It's about a five-minute procedure. They can see immediately after the procedure, and um, um, just to give you an example, I did surgery on, a, uh, on the chief of the OBGYN department here in, at uh, Orange Coast Memorial. Um, after the surgery, he got out of his uh, gurney and went back to work. The next day, he had 2015 vision. Wow. Um, that's the type of uh, outpatient procedure this mm -hmm, has become. Mm -hmm. And the, my understanding is uh, slight chance of infection, so you do them one at a time. Absolutely. We do surgery on one eye. Uh, typically, we'll bring you back for the second eye if it's indicated um, within a week, uh, oftentimes a week to a month. And that's when we see the people with their still wearing their glasses, but you've punched out one of the lenses. Absolutely. They have a hole there. Hopefully, they have a frame that's intact. Some people have half a frame, so it really looks weird because their glasses are kind of frame Or the frameless, uh, frameless exactly, look there is exactly. a little, makes it a little bit rough for you there. Um, how often should we have our eyes examined for things like cataracts? Well, I think, you know, if you, most insurances will allow you to have your uh, eyes checked for a new pair of glasses either once or twice, um, um, either every year or every two years. Mm -hmm. um, once you've been diagnosed with a cataract and if your vision is, well, you know, at a point where we think you're borderline, Really, you should come back every six to 12 months. Right. We've talked about cataracts today, but you folks uh, provide a variety of, of eye procedures, including eye exams. You do, I believe, the, uh, the keratonomy and the LASIK and all those things as well. You're trained in all those, and your staff trained in all those areas. Absolutely. We do everything from uh, fitting glasses to trying to get patients out of glasses, whether that's with LASIK surgery or with these um, very modern implants that yeah. we have now. Yeah. My understanding is if somebody's had, uh, say, LASIK surgery, say, in their 40s or 50s, time progresses, they might need the cataract procedure. It's still doable. It hasn't affected the ability to do the cataract surgery. Absolutely. There's a lot of patients that had LASIK surgery 10, 15, to 10 to 15 years ago, and they're now coming in with cataracts. And um, it, it, we have to tweak our calculations in determining what type of implant they get, mm -hmm. but we're able to do a fine job of right. seeing well. Because there's already been some modifications to their eye with that previous procedure. Yes, we've, so. changed, we've changed the curvature of their cornea with the LASIK procedure, so it does modify our, our, our results. Um, but again, we're able to get you know, very, very fine, very um, 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 on point uh, 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 results with their. Uh, calculations. Right. Where's your office located here in Laguna Woods? You know what? We're right here on the campus of uh, Saddleback Memorial. Great. Okay. So um, we, we have our uh, clinic there. We have another clinic in Irvine. Great. One in Foothill Ranch. And we do our surgery right here um, on the same campus at Pacific Hills. Excellent. That's great. Find out more about Atlantis. You can give them a call and check it out. And uh, Dr. Logan and his staff are there to uh, answer your questions. And uh, Obviously, this is not the one they're going to put in your eye. This is a big model. This, I think, might be for an elephant or something. I don't know. Probably. A big, a big one there. <laughs> big you, foot. Your, yours would be, I, I would say it's about the size of your little fingernail, right? Yeah, I tell people it's about the size of, two-thirds the size of a dime. Yeah, yeah. So very small, but does a great job. And uh, again, great way to improve your vision. Dr. Logan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. We'll be coming right back with more as we continue with our program today for you right here on Channel 6 TV.